Ladies and gentlemen, we are at war. Well, not me and you per se, but Microsoft is definitely fighting for their life right now in the courtroom with the FTC in regards to winning the biggest game studio acquisition of all time. That's right everyone, it's your favorite company beef instigator back at it again to report over this long running anime saga known as the Microsoft Activision Blizzard deal. Now if you aren't caught up on all the good details that we went over beforehand, I wouldn't recommend you skip out on those videos, you know, they're pretty essential to the lore, they're not just like the 300 episodes of film in the Naruto series. But like always, I'll give you all the simple breakdown to know what's basically going on. and. That is the fact that Microsoft is putting up $68.7 billion, yes, with the B, to buy Activision Blizzard and get control of all the games you see before you on the screen and all the other games tied to the company, you know, going forward. But for over a year now, they've had to go through various obstacles, dish out multiple diss tracks, and finally make their way to court to prove to the US government that this mega transaction, you know, which is the biggest of its kind, should be approved. And that's where we are currently in this timeline you know for the past four days activision and microsoft's team has been in court defending their case as they have until july 18th to convince big daddy ftc that this deal isn't going to violate any monopoly or any trust laws now there's also been some outside special guests making appearances via video deposition like you know sony's chief and nvidia's lead guy you know we're basically in the final battle sequence with every character that we haven't seen in a while making their last minute return and it's been pretty entertaining to see Microsoft, you know, pull out all the stops that they can. They've tried pretty much everything, you know, they've argued that Call of Duty isn't that important of a game so it shouldn't be treated like a deal breaker, how the deal won't impact cloud gaming, a second admit of defeat from Phil Spencer in the past like two months, you know, it's going crazy. But all the questioning and back and forth is cool, you know, I've heard some good points from both the FTC and Microsoft, but you all know why I'm really invested in this entire situation other than the outcome. I'm here for the drama and the shots thrown at each company and we've seen plenty of it in the last few days and it likely won't be the end of it before the trial ends. So I'm just gonna catch you up to speed real quick on what's been going on in the courtroom. One of the first exposures that we got to see was the fact that Xbox decided to buy Bethesda once they heard that you know Sony was trying to strike a deal with the former independent company to get Starfield exclusive to PS5, therefore making the upcoming game not only exclusive to Xbox consoles and Windows of course. And it just highlights the level that both Xbox and PlayStation will go to to try and buy out as much of the business for you know the competitor studio as much as they can, you know, which is pretty crazy. That same day, when arguing against cloud gaming being halted because of, you know, the acquisition, they also said that cloud gaming is just a feature and not an actual market. So, you know, to all my cloud gamers out there, I mean, y'all just gonna take that? I mean, you know, me, me personally, I wouldn't just let that slide. But moving on to day two, apparently Apple is catching strays as well because Xbox was supposed to release their cloud gaming service on the platform, but I guess Microsoft found someone more money hungry than they are because Apple just wouldn't let that fly which is why you can't use any of Xbox's cloud gaming services on Apple devices. Now, those are only small scale arguments and exposures on behalf of Microsoft, you know, while they're still pretty effective in helping their case, it doesn't even compare to the big whammy that they pulled out a couple days ago with an old email that was leaked by Microsoft in their case, which came from Sony's chief, Jim Ryan. Now for background before I tell you what the email said, this whole time Sony has been the main hater in Microsoft's acquisition. They really don't want to see this acquisition go through for obviously competition reasons. However, in this leaked email, Jim Ryan claims that he believes that acquisition isn't actually about exclusives and that he thinks Microsoft is thinking bigger than that. In the same email, he also stated that he believes that they'll continue to let Call of Duty on the PlayStation platform if the deal goes through, something that Sony was really adamant on probably not happening this entire time. So this email shows that Sony didn't initially really see a problem with the acquisition, but it's safe to say that their position has changed tremendously and well I guess Sony didn't appreciate the sort of character defamation in the courtroom because yesterday in their video deposition they were just letting it fly. They didn't give a f and straight up said that no publisher even likes the Xbox Game Pass because it makes them lose more money than if they would have just released the game on their own instead of on the subscription.
They also claimed that after multiple attempts at negotiating what games would become available on both platforms with the acquisition you know initially, Microsoft was just being a dick in the negotiations and had games like Overwatch 1 instead of Overwatch 2, you know, things like that. So it goes without saying that it was an eventful first few days of trial and you know I was on the edge of my seat the whole time like I was watching the Super Bowl. And today's hearing was mostly just for Activision CEO testimony and answering questions about Call of Duty, you know. Pretty boring stuff if I'm being honest because, you know, we just answer questions that we already know the answer to like the fact that Activision isn't interested in having COD on the Game Pass and things like that. But we're still only in the beginning of the trial so we've got more to come from this legendary acquisition case. So what do you guys think about the acquisition deal so far, man? You know, how do you guys feel about this whole trial? Feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, if you like on the video, subscribe, check out the Patreon if you're interested. And I'll see y'all probably tomorrow because we got to keep covering this.